Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joseph Novichkov, Senior Trading Manager with GDM Today's Outlook. Firstly, we start briefly with the Asian markets, uh, slightly higher on Wednesday with the, uh, the uh, uh, Japan's Nikkei 225 index leading the way after a strong finish on Wall Street over the night. The, the uh, Japanese benchmark index was uh, up about 4.26%, with of course the yen hovering near the 140 handle against the dollar after falling briefly overnight. The dollar yen pair traded at around 113.90 in late Asian trading. European markets are also expected to open higher on Wednesday, tracking gains in the US and Asia overnight. The stock uh, index uh, 600 was about seven tenths of a percent higher this morning and of course in Europe investors are bracing for further easing from the European Central Bank at the next week's review. ECB President Mario Draghi on Wednesday said the meeting would have to take into a very serious account whether prospects for growth and inflation are in the right path. Giving European markets another reason to be cheerful, major US indices rose on Tuesday with, of course, the Dow Jones Industrial Average up about 2.11% and the S&P 200 adding 2.39% with the Nasdaq Composite, of course, also gaining about 2.89%. The dollar was steady against a basket of major currencies in the, the Asian session on Wednesday, but of course not far from the previous session's one month high. That was, of course, touched after a brighter economic data rekindled further expectations that the U.S. Federal Reserve could keep raising rates uh, this year. Encouraging, of course, uh, U.S. factory and uh, construction data offered some hopes that the economy was regaining momentum once again. That, of course, helped U.S. stocks uh, stage their biggest one day rally in about a month time and of course close at their highest since early January. The euro, however, the common currency edged down about one tenth of a percent to 1.0860 versus the dollar with of course inside of one month through of 1.0834 that was set on Tuesday. Gold in the commodity sector dipped for a second straight session on Wednesday as of course global equities and the dollar were rising following strong U.S. manufacturing data that renewed speculations over further Federal Reserve hikes this year, as we mentioned. Gold slipped four tenths of a percent to um, 1226.56 an ounce uh, in late Asian session after dropping half a percent in the previous session. The selling in uh, gold, however, is uh, likely to continue today throughout Wednesday, especially if we keep seeing another route of strong buying set in over global equity markets. Oil prices in the energy sector fell on Wednesday in the wake of industry data that showed a huge build in U.S. crude stockpiles that were already at a record high. U.S. crude inventories rose by 9.9 million barrels last week. Uh, data from the American Petroleum Institute showed after Tuesday's settlement. Of course, that was uh, well above the 3.6 million barrels that was expected. And we're looking at the uh, West Texas Intermediate crude for April delivery. That was down 40 cents at $34 a barrel after settling up about 65 cents on Tuesday in the back of a firmer close on Wall Street. US crude, of course, hit a one month high on Tuesday, as we mentioned as well. Today's more important news in the calendar, this is the US ADP employment change report coming out at 13.15 GMT. That's more important of today. Stay tuned. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.